Welcome yogis, my name is Sophie. If we haven't met yet, and if we have, welcome back. Uh, as promised, I have worked on another yin uh, sequencing, another class for us. So um, we are going to be doing yin today. So just be aware of how you feel in these postures to begin. And um, I will help you out with different alignment and it is not going to feel comfortable. So if it does feel uncomfortable, know that you are doing it right. Um, and we will be focusing on deep breaths in and slow exhales out to ease into uh, all these different postures we're going to be working in. So there's going to be a little bit less moving and longer holds. Um, and your breath is going to ease you into the movement. So if it does get uncomfortable, stay a little bit longer. Um, you might actually be strengthening and lengthening um, different parts of your body out uh, by doing so. So um, it is important to maybe close your eyes when we get into these poses and just focus on your breathing, zone out of your head and um, know that it is going to make you feel so much better towards the end, I hope. <laughs> so if you have two blocks for your practice, it is something that we're gonna be using throughout the practice. Um, they are really helpful. So either that or you have two big books, um, bring a blanket if you'd like and you want to roll it up. Uh, I just want you to get comfortable in different postures or even pillows if you'd like. So to begin, we are gonna place the blocks at the top of the mat. And you are going to be coming down to your belly and your shoulders are going to be rested on the block. So face down, rest your head down. Shoulders are supported by the block. And just let your shoulders drop in. Arms get heavy. Belly is soft. Take a deep breath in. Slow exhale out. Take a moment here to let everything go and feel the support of the mat underneath of you. Let the elbows get heavy too, so maybe it feels more comfortable to have a slight bend in the elbows. Everything is supported and it is heavy towards the mat. Tune into your breath and just let everything else go. Find a place of stillness here. Feeling your belly as you breathe in, pushing towards the earth, and then melting towards the earth as you exhale out. Noticing your lower back softening here. Stay with your breath and maybe unclenching any kind of tension throughout the face here. So the jaw in between the eyebrows, the sides of the neck and the face. Notice here where you're holding on and where you can release. Maybe setting an intention for your practice, or maybe it is just to let go. Finding a sense of liberation here to let yourself free fall into these postures. Letting the weight of your body drop down and drop in. So 
take another big inhale, go a little bit deeper. Slowly empty everything out. There's any outside distractions, just maybe using that to take you a little bit further into your practice. We'll bring our hands just beside the blocks to pick yourself up. And we're going to come into a child's pose from here. So if you want to use the blocks to start, bring the big toes to touch. Knees can come as wide as you'd like. Hands can be on the block and then push back through the hips. Melt the arms down and the head, forehead comes down. We're gonna stay here for a few breaths. Feeling the weight of the hips as they drop down. Feeling the gentle separation through the shoulders here as your heart melts towards the earth. Finding your ujjayi breath here, breathing in, making the sound of the waves of the ocean at the back of your throat. Same thing as you exhale. We'll push our palms into the blocks or into the earth. Maybe you're moving down towards the side. I'd like you to widen out your legs in your child's pose and then sink a little bit further back with wider legs and then bring the arms down and lengthened out again. Go a little bit deeper, sit your hips back, feel the weight of your body as it leans down. Let your belly soften. Now we'll push into the palms, inhale to pull yourself up slowly. And then shift onto the mat however you would like. We're going to come into a frog pose. So those of you who don't know, maybe look up for a moment. Bring a block with you, whatever support for your arms. So I'm going to go the long way of my mat. You're separating your legs. Um, kind of like frog legs. So your knee and your ankles are in line and you're flexing into the feet. So go to find your edge where you're going to feel comfortable. You might need to roll up your mat on both edges to support your knees because we are going to be holding this one for a little bit as well. You do have your block that can support your forearms as you come down. If not, you can always come down to the ground as well. I'm just trying to cue some sort of comfort for you as we remain in this pose. So find your spot of weakness and try to linger there. So making sure that your legs are stacked, flex into the feet. It's gonna feel uncomfortable. You're gonna feel a little bit of sensation through the hips, but this is such a great pose that we don't do often. So once you find that and you feel no pain in the knees, 
You want to be pushing through your pelvis here, push down. I know that the weight of your body is just enough. You can feel it. And if your arms are rested on a block or on the ground, drop your head down. Stay here for a moment. Close your eyes. Breathe into any uncomfortable feeling, sensation here. And every exhale is to release and let go. Anything that shows up throughout the practice, especially through any kind of hip opening, it kind of brings up a lot of heat, a lot of anger, maybe uh, sadness, a lot of feelings that we suppress. So just making sure to be aware of what shows up here, breathe into it and know that it's not going to last forever. We exhale to let go of any attachment. So stay with your breath. Maybe you're sinking a little bit deeper. Staying with your breath, deep breath in, breathe in to those areas of your body that you are opening, lengthening, strengthening. And exhale to release. Maybe for the last minute, you wanna bring your hands together, palms touch and you're shimmying forward and back. So you might feel a little bit more sensation here as well. Keep it low in the body. Sink your hips back, so forward and back. Move slowly. There's any sticky spots, maybe stay there for a moment before moving out. And as we slowly exit this pose, bring your hands down to the earth, push yourself up. Slowly tuck the toes under behind you and then push yourself up to come uh, bring the legs together. So we're going to go back forward onto our mat. And then for a moment, we're just going to sit on our heels. Bring your hands to your thighs. Roll your shoulders up and back. Close your eyes. Feel into your body. You're probably feeling the area that we just opened up. So just releasing what we just worked on. From here, we're gonna do a few quick uh, neck rotation um, uh, stretching here. So we'll bring the arms just away from the body, fan out the fingers, spread your hands, energize your arms, and then make fists. So as we are strong in the arms, we're going to drop our right ear to our right shoulder. Keep the strength in the arm. So it's as if you're pulling your left shoulder away from the body with your hands, arms clenched into your fists as you drop your ear to the opposite side. 
You should be feeling the sensation, the stretch through your left side of your neck. Maybe you're tilting your chin up and down. Small movement. Follow what feels best. Maybe you're staying in an area that feels a little tight. Breathe there. And then exhale, release. Do that a couple more times. Little half circles. So notice right away where it gets hard if you're holding on to the breath. I know that it happens. Just notice. Try to not do that. You don't want to create any stress or tension. So as we drop our chin down, roll the neck down, chin to chest, stay active in the arms. And then roll over towards the other side, left ear to left shoulder. And feel that active range as you're pulling right shoulder away from the body, feel the stretch through the right side of the neck. And again, start doing your small circles. So maybe your chin is tilting up and back down. So chin is pointing up towards the sky, maybe do this with the eyes closed, tune into your body, chin comes back down towards left shoulder. When you're ready, we're going to fan out the fingers, release that. So spread the hands, keep them still away from your hips, away from your body. Open the mouth, let the head fall back. And then we're going to do one big circle in one direction towards the right shoulder, down and back. And then we're going to go in the other direction. Left shoulder chest, right shoulder and back. All right, bring your head back to neutral, bring your arms back down, shake that up. Put the hands down in front of you and we are coming into a shoelace pose. So shoelace, you're bringing right leg over top of left. And if it doesn't feel good to bring both legs into the full shoelace, this is what it looks like. You want your sit bones to be grounded down. Both legs are crossed. So right leg this time is on top of left. You want your sit bones to be down towards the mat though. So if you have to lengthen out your legs away from your hips, that's okay. Flex into the feet. If you can't do both legs, extend your left leg, lengthen it out straight. So coming into shoelace, you can hold onto your ankle, sit yourself up tall, close the eyes. So you're going to feel the sensation through your hips here, maybe more the right leg since it is the one we're working on that is on top. We're opening up the hip a little bit into this pose as well. So again, just remain here. As you pull on your ankles here, maybe you're tilting your chest forward, closer towards your knees, hinging from the hips. So you might feel a little bit more of the sensation. 
Maybe you want to come back to sit up straight. If you want to go back and forth, you can do that. And then if you want to go a little bit deeper, I suggest you try to either bring a block near you to land your arms down. Maybe you need it on its highest level. Bring your forearms down. Maybe you can bring your head down. Or you just let your body drop. Arms drop down to the mat. Head can fall on top of your knees. And just stay here for a few more moments. Breathing here. I know that if you're sore like I am, it's uh, not an easy pose to stay in either. We'll take one more big breath here. Slowly release, pick yourself back up. Slowly uncross the legs. We're gonna bring our right shin forward into our pigeon. So if pigeon doesn't, doesn't feel good, come into your 90-90 where your left leg behind you will be a bent out of 90 degrees as well. Knee is stacked over top of ankle. Right leg is forward. We're trying to, at best, keep it parallel to the short edge of the mat. So 90-90, you can stay here. Otherwise, we're gonna come into full pigeon where we lengthen out our left leg behind. So if you are working on pigeon and your sit bones don't come down since we are holding, you might bring the block just underneath your seat It'll be underneath your right seat to keep yourself elevated properly. It's not easy to find the right spot. There we go. So you might want to do that. Otherwise, if you can come all the way down, you're going to come into your full pigeon or 90-90. Lengthen straight out your left leg. So first to start, we want to stay square to the front of the mat. Lift your heart up. And then as you exhale, you're slowly going to hinge from the hip and you're going to fold over your front leg. Maybe you're coming down to your forearms. Maybe you're staying on the blocks. Know that you can always stack your blocks. If you're staying upright, that's okay too. Find where you can get comfortable in the poses. Again, we're working on the right leg, so you're going to feel a lot of sensation through the inner and outer line of your right leg. Breathing into those areas and again, letting go of what is not serving you here. Any sensation, any thoughts that come up, just let it go. Your next few breaths, try to go a little bit deeper.
we'll take another eight more breaths here. Your last couple breaths, you're breathing out from your mouth. Last one. Walking the hands back towards your leg, pick yourself up. We're going to come into fire log now, right leg on top of left fire log. You're Trying to bring both legs parallel over top, of, both shins parallel over top of each other. So I will face the camera. It will look like this. Now I have one hip that is a little off um, due to surgery. So if that happens and that one or both hips. Anyway, if, it, if this doesn't land down, you could just stay here, but it would be a lot more comfortable if we use our props and we put our block to support our right knee. So in this pose, that's what I will be doing on that side. So use your blocks, try to stack your legs as best as you can um, in your fire lock pose. So they are trying to be parallel and um, on top of each other. So let's try this. Flex into your right, uh, right foot as well and your left foot. It, this one can be pretty hard to do as well. So hopefully this is, a, this is good for both. And if you can't stack both legs, please use your props. Okay, so use both blocks if you need to um, because I know that we are not um, very open in the hips, so it happens. Instead of saying you can't do it, use your props and then see how that feels in your body. So we're gonna sit up tall. Put your hands maybe at your feet. You can also give your right toes, right foot, a little bit of a massage. Close down the eyes. Again, big belly breaths here. Try to stay with your breath. Maybe you're imagining sitting someplace that brings peace to mind. Maybe you're sitting at the top of a hill in the middle of the forest, listening to the sounds of the birds, the trees. Imagine where your happy place is. Try to stay here for another eight more breaths. Be in this moment, breathe into what shows up. Dig deep. Every inhale, go deeper.
slowly release. If you need to be props, please take them out. And then slowly with your hands and cross your right leg, bring both soles of the feet to the mat. We're gonna slowly windshield wiper our knees to the left. So let your legs fall. Hands are coming behind you. Inhale to lift the knees. Slowly let them fall over towards the right. One more time, pick them up to the left. Releasing, flushing that out on the right side. Let them fall over to the right, last time. Lucky we have another side, we have to do everything all over again. So, shoelace left side, cross right leg underneath, left leg on top. All right, take a variation that you took on the other side. If you lengthened your leg out, this time it's right leg that will come long. Okay, or if you're taking full variation, we're trying to make sure the sit bones are down towards the mat so your shins might walk away from your sit bones. Flex into the feet, sit up tall, hold on to the ankles and close your eyes. One side might feel different than the other and that is totally normal. So just tuning in here, going inward. And then you might start hinging from your hips, bringing your chest closer towards your knees and coming back up. Maybe just rocking, seeing what feels good. Circular motions is good too if you want to go side to side, up and down. Find out any sticky areas, lean into those areas. Just exploring into the hips here. And then we'll hinge completely forward. And then whatever variation you took, if, it, if you're using your blocks to fold forward, then use your blocks. If you can land your forearms down towards the mat, let your chin drop towards your knees and just breathe. From here, walking your hands back towards your knees. You're pushing yourself up. We're coming into pigeon on left side. So slowly uncrossing the legs. Use your hands if you need to. Bringing left shin parallel towards the front of the mat. If it's 90-90, do that. Okay. Once you arrive and you're taking your variation, we're folding over left leg here. So if at start you want to lift your heart up, look up towards the sky. And as we exhale, we fold over our left leg. Make a little pillow with your hands if you'd like.
Keep breathing, noticing your breath. Try to not be too focused on any of the sensations here, but breathe into it, creating space in your body. Five more breaths. Our last inhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Plant the palms, push yourself back up. And from here, we're coming into fire log. Left leg on top of right. So this is where our shins are parallel in front. Flex into both feet. Shins should be as parallel as you can. Use the block underneath of your left knee if possible, if it needs it. One side might be more open than the other. And again, bring your hand, left hand to the knee, right hand to the foot. Sit up tall. And again, come back to that happy place. Breathe into this moment. And dive deeper as we exhale out. Inhale, maybe bring a smile to your face. a little bit longer maybe you want to roll out the neck while we're here do that as well just remember to find stillness once you're finished we have a few more breaths Out of this pose, your hand is going to help your left leg slowly unravel. Protecting your legs, your knees here. We're going to swing our shins over to one side, plant the palms down, and come into downward facing dog. Hips up and back, however, you'd like to get there. And when you arrive, start pedaling out the feet slowly. Bringing one heel at a time down towards the mat. Feel that nice stretch through the calf, the hamstring. Take your time here. And then when you're ready, we're gonna find stillness. Bring the big toes to touch. Take a big inhale, open the mouth, let it go. Inhale, right leg up towards the sky. Hip height is okay if you want to stay there. Bend the knee, hug it and bring it through center. Step it through, 
Low lunge, bring the left knee down towards the mat. Find your blocks. Hands on the blocks, framing the front foot. We're going to really sink through the hips, shine your heart forward, roll the shoulders back. Breathe in here, close the eyes. Feeling a stretch through the front left hip, maybe the inner line of the right leg. Know that you can pad your mat for your knees to pr protect them if you have any pain or injuries. Do that. And then from here, we're going to bring one block with us down towards the left side. You're going to walk your right foot wide. Bring your hands to the inside of your right foot now. But first, plant the palms, feel the difference of being framing the foot, and now you're on towards the inside of the right foot. And then if you would like, you can come down to the forearms or on top of the block, or invitation to walk your hands over diagonally more towards the left. And then resting your forearms on any level of the block, towards the left. So there's a little bit more of an opening through the hips, but you're landed towards the left. Okay. If you're still forward, that's okay too. Maybe you're flaring, rolling towards the outer borders of the right foot. So you're opening up the right hip. You're leaning it towards the right. Breathing here. And then we're going to walk back up towards our hands. Bring the hands back towards the inside of that right foot. Maybe your right hand's coming to right knee. As, help, as a helping hand, it's opening up your right hip. So rolling more towards the outer borders of the right foot. Lean your heart away from your leg. Look up. And then exhale, we'll roll back our foot towards the earth. Use your block, highest level, medium height. You're going to bend into the right knee so that your foot is coming towards the glute. Reach your right arm up and back for your left foot for a quad stretch. So you want to be kicking into your right foot. Sorry, kicking into your right hand to feel that stretch through the quad. Breathing here, this is a very important one. We don't stretch our quads out enough. And the elevation of the block usually helps as well. And then release without any slingshot effect. Bring the left foot down, right arm back down. Bring the blocks off. From here, planting the palms, lifting the left knee and stepping back into your downward facing dog. And then you can start pedaling out, letting all of that go. Maybe you're lifting one leg up, opening up the hip. So maybe stacking the hip, lengthen everything out, stretching from one side to the other. Take what you need here to flush it all out. Maybe it's a flow. And then we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Finding stillness, big toes will touch. Inhale to the toes and maybe sink the heels a little bit deeper. Next inhale, come to the toes, left leg lifts. Exhale, pull it through, step it through, low lunge, right knee down, find your blocks.
So to start, we're just gonna sink the hips. So really sink through the hips, stay strong through the core. You wanna feel that stretch through the right side. So maybe it's about walking the knee more towards the back of the mat. Hands around the blocks, heart is lifted. Take a few breaths here. All right, from here, we're going to use one block towards the right. You're going to walk your foot wide as your hands come to the inside of your left foot this time. So as you plant the palm, see if there's any difference with widening um, your left foot more towards the le left corner of the mat, left side. And then if you'd like to stay forward and square to the top of the mat, come down to your forearms or onto the block. Or take a little bit more by walking your hands a little bit more towards the right. And then coming into a little bit more of a hip opening. So you're kind of like off to the right in a diagonal kind of shape. So you feel a little bit more sensation through the hips. Stay with your breath here. Maybe you're rolling onto outer borders of the left foot, opening up the hip a little bit further. Just feeling the weight of your legs when you're in this pose. So you're letting your leg drop open. And then last breath here, we're going to walk back towards our hands, walk back towards the inside of your foot, roll and exaggerate that. So just open back up through the left hip, your left hand comes to left knee, open it up with the help of your hand, heart shines up a little bit towards the sky, look up. And then exhale, close that, bring both hands down, find your block for your right hand. You're kicking left foot in towards your glute, and then reach back with your left hand. Remember to kick into your hand to feel that nice stretch through the core. Don't dump into right shoulder, make sure you're pushing into your hand. Last inhale. And then exhale, let it go. Blocks off to the side. Walk your left foot back towards center. Pick up back knee. And then come back into your downward facing dog. Take what you need to flush it out. Maybe you're extending one leg at a time up to the sky, stacking the hips open. That's something I like to do. I'm kind of like alternating. I'm pushing my hips out. And then from here, we're gonna bend the knees and take as many steps as you'd like towards the top of the mat and find your blocks. So you're hinging from the hips. There's a very generous bend through the knees. Bring your blocks to its highest, le uh, highest height. Unless you're very bendy, then you can bring them a little bit further down. So you want to use the weight of your torso to come and droop down onto the top uh, to the top of your thighs. Bring your forearms to the blocks and fold. Letting everything just decompress here. Breathe through the upper back here, let go of any tension through the jaw, through the face. Let your head drop, feeling that free fall of just letting go. Making sure that you're bending deeply into the knees here. And then we're going 
gonna find our fingertips on the blocks. You're gonna come to a halfway lift. So retract the shoulder blades shine. Your heart down, head and neck is in line here. And then exhale to fold a little bit deeper. So we're gonna flow through a couple of those. Inhale, halfway lift. Strong body, exhale to fold. Two more times, follow your breath. Make sure to let it go through the neck here. Maybe shake it out. We'll take one more breath here, folded. Say your yes is the nose. Once you're ready, walk the blocks off to the side. We'll take a halfway lift without the blocks. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise and reach. Lean back and then exhale all the way down towards the mat. Plant the palms. We're gonna bring the knees down towards the mat. Come into a table. So making sure the blocks are still near. From here, option is to use the blocks. We're gonna do a few cat cows. So you can do them on the mat or on the block. So just moving intuitively into your body here, coming to cat cow, so moving slowly. Cow shape, really dipping through the torso, the belly softens, exhale rounding the spine, chin to chest, let it go. And then maybe you're finding circles through the body, getting your neck into it, make it feel good. And then maybe exploring, coming to the fingertips and then doing cat cow in that way. Sometimes you find a little bit more depth. And then as we exhale, we're gonna plank the palms back down. When you're ready, we're gonna come into a tricep stretch. So we're gonna bring our forearms down to the blocks. So option is to come into a wide-legged child's pose with, your, with the, um, the lower half of the body. As your arms are going to be rested onto the block, you bring your hands together in prayer and then fold them behind so that your thumbs are touching the back of your neck here, just in between the shoulder blades. Or option is to come through puppy. So keep the hips elevated, keeping the hips elevated, your forehead comes down in between the blocks and then you're pushing through the elbows, hands together in prayer, thumbs touch the back of your heart. So whichever one feels better in your body, sinking the hips or keeping them stacked over top of your knees, you want to feel the stretch through the triceps. That's most important. So just breathe here. Lean your heart down towards the earth. One big inhale here. Open the mouth, slowly release. Bring the hands back down. Walk them towards the block or back closer towards your face. Pick yourself up. And then from here, you're gonna bring your shins off to one side and find your supported bridge. So legs will lengthen out. Make sure you have a block with you. 
Come down with your knees bent. Push into all four corners of the feet. Just to lift your hips, slide the block underneath. And then from here, just let go of your arms. Let them land towards the earth. And I invite you to pigeon toe your feet. So maybe they're coming a little bit wider. Just to bring your knees to knock in towards each other. So breathing here for a moment, feeling the support underneath of you. And just internally rotating the hips here. Maybe your palms are shining up towards the sky for receiving. Breathing deeply into the belly. either stay here or lengthen one leg at a time or if you'd like both legs Bring both legs to center. Lengthen out, but towards center. You'll hug your right knee in. Come into wind relieving on the blocks. So breathe in. Flex in both feet. Exhale, hug your right knee in closer towards your chest as best as you can. Interlacing your hands below right knee. Hug it in. And then option for you to explore. Maybe you're widening your right leg off to the right and you're dropping your hands down so it's just the weight of your leg so just moving the femur bone into its socket you can make circles you can stay in stillness as long as you're breathing here don't hold it. We'll come back through center, extending right leg out, this time left knee in. Start by hugging it in. Maybe coming a little bit closer towards your chest. And then guiding it out towards the left. And then if you want to keep your hand there, you can, or bringing arms wide, letting it, your leg just drop, finding circles if that serves you. And then lengthen it back out. Bring your arms over your head, deep breath in. And exhale, bring the hands back down alongside the body, walk the feet in, lift the hips, slide the block out from underneath of you, bring your hips back down. Give yourself a big hug, knees to chest, forehead to knees. You're a small little ball here. And then open up, arms into a T, knees are going to drop towards the right, come into a twist. Looking over left shoulder, now to make it more comfortable, bring the block in between your legs. Stay here. Go deeper.
bring your face back to neutral. Bring the block out from underneath, between your legs, take your knees up towards center. Let them drop over towards the left. Gentle twist on the left side now if you want to bring the block. Do that, look over right shoulder. couple of breaths here. Face up towards center. Let the block go. Pick up your legs. Hug them in towards your chest. Then slowly release and find your Shavasana. So before reacting, changing anything, please stay here. Stay here for a little bit longer. Don't move. back to your breath, that natural rhythm, come back to that pure, joyous, happy place we were imagining earlier, come back to that sense of surrendering, of letting go, of liberation, of free fall, your body towards the earth. And we'll take one last big breath in, filling up completely, pause. Open the mouth, let all the air go. And then come back, close the mouth, come back to your natural breath. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Take the time to stay a little bit longer in your Shavasana if you need to, and we will see you next time. Namaste.